Alright guys, today we're out here on Rebontuli Coast to continue the search for some of the trophies I still need to find. We are doing some server hoping to increase our chances to come across one of those trophies and I just stumbled onto this really big rock ptarmigan track. It is a max estimate so it has a chance to be a level 3 and perhaps a diamond. Frankly I don't expect him to be huge since probably only one of every 10 max estimates are diamonds but it's nice to start a hunt chasing something interesting because the chances may be low but they are there and it could perfectly be a really big male. We just gotta find it which may be a challenge. Oh, that has to be him level 2. Well, it took less than I expected, these guys usually make it harder to find them. You know, normally it takes a good amount of time to get in range to use the shotgun on these guys because they normally fly away before you can get close enough. But fortunately, this cock was just there waiting for us, so let's see how big it is. It could still make it even as a level 2. 686.43, he wasn't huge, but that is certainly a decent score for a gold. You know, in order to make it, he had to have a score of at least 709, so he wasn't super close to make it, but it wasn't too far neither. It is a nice trophy to start the hunt. Ok, different session, and I just came across a track of what may be a diamond brown bear. They are quite hard to find, actually it's been several months since the last time I saw a level 9 brown bear, in fact it was I believe on the first week after the release of Rebon to the Coast. I think I was tracking a level 3 Capper Kaylee on the northwestern side of the map and then I saw this huge level 9 brown bear buried next to a couple females if I remember correctly, that was the last time I saw one. So if this guy is a diamond, which would be really surprising because the chances of it being a level 7 or an 8 are significantly higher, then we would be getting our second diamond brown bear on Rebon to the Coast. Warning call. That is the second call I hear coming from that position and I'm not sure that is a good sign since the level 9s are usually not very vocal, so I'ma say this guy is probably on the smaller side of that max weight range. And there he is, level 7 as I thought. We are gonna drop him using something unusual that I have used in many occasions before but never against a bear. You know I'ma load the 12 cage slugs on the Cacciatore and I'ma go for a viral with it. He's approaching the 70 meter mark, so gotta load this thing before he spooks. It takes some time, but it will be ready on time. Let's go for it. He's alert, about to stand up. That should be enough. Apparently that was a single long, so it's gonna take a few seconds to go down. So what I wanna see is how good the penetration of these 12 cage logs is on a bear. Not too bad. Of course, nowhere near the penetration a rifle would get, but if we aim just a bit higher, we would have hit the heart. It definitely has enough penetration to reach it, so... For a weapon that is meant to be used mainly against warfall, having the option to load the slugs and kill a bear makes it really impressive. Well, here we have another chance to get perhaps our first time on of the week because I just came across another big rock ptarmigan track. Potentially a level 3 and our fourth diamond of this species, you know, I just love to hunt them. In fact, Rebontolicos is one of my two favorite reserves, mainly because of the presence of the upland bears like the ptarmigans, the capercalis, they all add a new whole layer of dynamism to the hunt, something that you simply cannot experience on any other map. It's always fun to have the option to just run around shooting all the bears you see on pretty much any location. They are everywhere. And I would certainly love to have the same possibility on maps like Leighton Lake or Yukon Valley where you have a bunch of big game species but barely any upland bird. They just feel a bit too one dimensional so I really think those are maps that would really benefit from the addition of new upland species like rough grouse, white-tailed ptarmigan, dusky grouse, spruce grouse, you know there are plenty of species, even rock and willow ptarmigans, which are all animals with the potential to revitalize some of the existing reserves in my opinion. I mean, just imagine being able to hunt some grouse species over the beautiful but empty mountains of Leighton Lake. It would be huge for the map. And the species list is massive, so there's plenty to choose from. Oh, there he is. It's a level 2 with a top estimate of 712. 
not exactly proud of having to use three shots, but what matters is that he's on the ground now, so let's see how big it is, hopefully he'll be a huge level 2. The estimate was not promising, but if it scores near the top of that estimate, which was 712, it could still be diamond. And it doesn't let us claim it. Apparently we lost connection with the server. Yep, zero ping. Alright, we're back on the server. And here we have this Termigan, which is a 673.64 Colt. Just a medium sized level 2, and what happened to my name? Seems like it got combined with the name of another player, which I guess is because I left the server. But it's weird. That guy doesn't look common. I think it is a white. Yeah, that looks like a white. My first ever white willow termigan. You know how often I mention that I really want to find a red plumage, but this one is another rare that I needed to find to keep completing our collection. Right now we're on this area, which is inside the willow termigan home range, and it is one of the best locations to find them. This place is full of termigans, raccoon dogs, brown bears, moose. Nice area to visit while doing some server hopping. Almost within the shotgun range, there he is. This plumage is not as rare as the red, but it's also quite rare, probably the equivalent of a pie bolt on a different species. So I cannot wait to place him on the lodge, he's alert. Now alarmed, defensive. He will take off at any moment, but we're already inside the shotgun range, so there's no problem. That's it. Let's take a few pictures real quick. And look, there's another cock running for his life, half white, half red, it is a bicolor. You know, from all the best models in the game, Revon Tulicos has quite a few. All the birds are really well done. And here we have it, 648.31 silver, white plumage, willow termigan. One of the two rares I need to find of this species, so now we must find the red. Level 3, Willow Termigan. I had the Max SMA track and that is our second level 3 Willow Termigan in the last few days. The last one was a female, which you may remember from the last video, and well this time we have a male. In fact, this is the second diamond potential cock I found on this area on this exact same location. And I wonder if he's the one making those calls. He sounds a bit too far to be spooked by us, so I imagine there is a lynx nearby. Yeah, those repeated calls definitely indicate that there is a lynx on the area, so he may fly this way. Just gonna turn the volume up to hear all the sounds, because especially here on Rebontoli Coast, the sounds are instrumental to locate the birds. They are absolutely key. There's a hen. Shouldn't have any problem to drop her. Let's see. She is down. Just a small female, nothing special. And that is a warning call of perhaps the level 3, but I hear something coming. Oh! It's the level 3. Gotta be careful with that, because I don't know for how long he's been flying, and maybe he was about to start the landing animation. But fortunately, nothing unfortunate happened, and here we have it. It is a bicolor, a plumage that I have like 3 times with time of score. It seems to be the most frequent plumage on the level 3s, but let's see if this one actually makes it. 
Diamond and other Diamond Termigan. I just love to hunt this species, so even though I have many, I'm always gonna be happy to get one. They look amazing.